happy New Year, New Year's Eve to you all. Hope that y'all are having an awesome night. It is currently like 7.50 at night, but I wanted to get this video posted officially, our last video of 2017 going into 2018. Guys, not only is it New Year's Eve, but it is also my husband and I's 10-year anniversary. So we wanted to make a video. This is a little different. We are in our bedroom. All of the kids are in the living room, so we thought that this would be a perfect place considering that it is our 10-year wedding anniversary, guys. So happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary. So guys, we wanted to share with you our love story, tell you exactly how we met. I don't think we've ever said that or did that in a video before. So we wanted to share that with you all on tonight. Thought that that would be a perfect way to end this year. So do you want to start? Um, no, I'll let you start. Okay. <laughs> y'all, you know, if y'all notice that Roosevelt very rarely talks in vlogs, he's just not a talker, but we're going to get him out of that. Okay. So, how we met, actually, uh, I call him Porky. So, if y'all hear me say Porky, anytime during this video, that's what he goes by outside of YouTube and work, okay? But Roosevelt and I, known, we knew each other back, back in the day. Way back in the day. Yeah. Like, I was 17, I think, and you were probably, what, 21, grown man. Right. Uh, yeah, about 21. Yeah. And so, we... Um, hung around um, people who knew of each other. And so Roosevelt and I did not care for each other at all. Well, I didn't know him like that. And for whatever reason, mm -hmm. he did not like me. She didn't like me. I didn't like you because you were mean. I wasn't mean. I was just mean. He was mean, y'all. He was mean. Every time I seen him at the club or whatever, he was mean to me. Um, when I would see him at house parties and stuff he was mean to me and y'all one time he got drunk and we all have a past right so he, he got drunk and he got sick all in my house like on the floor on the sink and I had to clean it up like he just got sick in my house and left and so we just did not like each other so life goes on and I um, had just gotten out of a relationship, a marriage, actually, I was married before, and I had just got out of a marriage, and back when MySpace was popping, Facebook was like for college kids and stuff then, so um, MySpace was popping, and this was like in 2007, 2007, and um, I saw his picture. It kept coming up like we weren't friends on MySpace, but it kept coming up like somebody that I should know or, you know, something like that. And so I looked at the picture and it was a picture of him and his son. And so it came up several times before I ever said anything. And this particular day was Father's Day. And so I sent him a message and just saying, Happy Father's Day. And I said, Hey, by the way, is your name Porky? Which, and he messaged me back. I don't know if you messaged me back the same day. Same day. You yeah, did? Because I was in uh, post helping my dad um, pull some cars and some, something we was doing in post. And I got the message and I messaged you right back. The same day? Yeah, I remember. Well, so he messages me back and he says yes. And um, so I don't even know how we started talking from there. You said 2007? Yeah. That's 10 years. Today, we've been married 10 years. That's a long time. So, as y'all can see from the timeline, we met, we reconnected in 2007, and we got married in 2007. So, we only dated, well, I'll get to that. So, anyway, so we exchanged numbers through that somehow, some way. That's how you know when God has somebody for you because, y'all, we didn't like each other. So, for us to even exchange numbers or even to get to that point in the conversation, you know that it was a God thing. And, um, so we ended up talking, and y'all, we would talk day in, day out, fall asleep on the phone. And at the time, I lived with my mom because I had just got out of a relationship or whatever. So it was me and Renaya, and we were, I was starting completely over, completely over. And so um, we would talk, like, fall asleep on the phone with each other. Like, we don't want to hang up. I would say, you hang up. No, you hang up. And he lived in love before we live currently. And I lived in a town about 40 miles away from here and so um we would talk all the time and then the first time that we actually physically saw each other we met at was it starbucks or it was either a starbucks it was a starbucks 
I think it was a Starbucks, y'all. We didn't even make it in the Starbucks. We stood outside and talked and talked. And my mom was not the grandmother type to babysit. So she did not babysit. So we had Naya. I had Naya with me. And so we sat, uh, stood outside in the parking lot. And I think we ended up getting in somebody's car. And we ended up um, talking, like, for hours on end. And then we went back to my mom's and talked some more. Or I know, no, no, we, I don't think we went to my mom's the first day. I don't know if that was the first day. I remember going to, going to your mom's house because she stayed in, in the apartment on 24th Street. Up. Yeah, 16th Street or something Six, like No, it was 24th Street. Mm -mm. No, 24th Street was like one of the main streets. Well, 20, it was 20-something. No, it was 16th, 17th or something like that. But anyway, so then we just kind of started dating like that. But conversation, we talked every single day since we met back up. And so we would go on little dates here and there, meet up here and there, um in Plainview. He would always come to me um, to Plainview or whatever. And so then I had recently started a new job. This was before he put a label on it. We were just friends. He didn't want to put a title on it. And um, me growing up in church, like my whole life, I didn't, I'm, I'm a, I want to be in a relationship. Like I don't want to just be friends. He wanted to be friends for whatever reason. And so um, I had started a new job and we had I had to go to training in Albuquerque, New Mexico for two weeks. And so he worked at the airport and we had already been talking on the phone at this point, hanging out pretty regularly. And so um, I went had to go out of town. Well, he worked at the airport, so he helped me and my one of my friends that was also working with me. He helped us get our luggage and stuff, and he was a little extra friendly. So she asked me, she was like, do you know him? And I was like, mm. At the time, I was being shady because he didn't want to put a label on it. So I was like, yeah, I know him, you know, but I didn't stress it or whatever. And so when I was in Albuquerque, the fact that I was gone for two weeks, not only from my daughter, who wasn't even one, um, also like we had become very close, you know, used to talking to each other all the time. So when I was in Albuquerque, that's when I was like, you know what? I really like this guy or whatever. And so did, <laughs> did we put a, I don't think we put a label on it yet, but he, Roosevelt is a type of person that he's not going to ask you, you know, can we start dating or he's not, you just assume basically life just goes on and he thinks you, I guess can, <laughs> know what he's thinking or whatever I don't know and so he ended up we ended up moving or trying to get an apartment in the town that I lived in and I was like you're willing to leave everything he was like I am he has a son you know that lives also in love with Woogie and he was like you know just so long as I get to go back and forth to make sure that I see my son on a regular he gets to come see us but like I said I grew up in church my grandfather was a pastor so conviction I could not live with a man who was not my husband right so we ended up moving together not married and then it was the conviction was bothering me so bad that I was just like he didn't understand that because he didn't grow up in church the way that I did and so I was like look so I basically pressured him <laughs> to marry into getting married but um we it was Thanksgiving and we had went to my family's house and ate and stuff and then whenever we came home he we were sitting on the floor watching a movie Renaya had already went to sleep and and he was like you know what let's get married and I looked like what and so he um pulled out a ring and that was his way of saying hey of, of proposing let's get married so I don't think you ever asked me did you um I did was ask well I don't see I guess that's that was asking in his in his so needless to say that same year we started being official in June of 2007 and we lit we moved in together in October and we got engaged in Thanksgiving of 2007 so then y'all remember Thanksgiving I think it was like November 24th of 2007 That's we, my birthday. yeah that is your birthday so I think from then to December 31st 2007 New Year's Eve night we got married and we didn't have a big wedding. We did get married at a church, but it was just our family. Was your mom there? No, it was It was just um, My us. mom. Yeah, it was just us in the office. Yeah, we just wanted church. something. Well, so I did. Simple. Yeah, he's not a flashy type of person. And I had already been through a marriage before and did all of that. So I didn't want a big wedding. I just wanted 
something small with just our immediate family and that was it so we got married december 31st 2007 and since then our life has changed so much we went as you all know from having renaya and roosevelt or woogie um to now having woogie renaya and then we adopted nia and jackson in 2015 and then also we found out a month or two later after we had um, adopt uh, the adoption was legal that we were expecting with freedom which was a total 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 shocker because we weren't trying to have freedom I, I had no clue that I was pregnant I didn't even that was the furthest thing from my mind that we were having a baby we already had four kids and we had some issues a lot of things going on with the two kids that we had adopted so having a baby we were we were done with trying because we had miscarriages prior to the pregnancy so um we you know having a baby was a furthest thing from our mind so that's how we went from a family of four to a family of seven in one year y'all that all happened in one year 2006 well from 2015 to 2016 we had we added three additional kids to our family. But yeah, guys, so that is our love story. And I just wanted to share that with you all. I had never sat down and just talked to you about how we met or how this love story began. But I just want to tell you that I love you and happy anniversary to you. Love and you I too. appreciate you. And I hope that you all... Did you want to say something? Yeah. I'm really not this quiet, but it seems that... But Tara knows the whole love story, so I let her tell most of it, and then, you know. He is quiet, y'all. I'm not, I'm not that quiet. He's shy. When it comes to this, he's shy. When it comes to just talking, he's shy. But when it comes to business, that's when he opens up. But when it comes to just sitting down talking like this, he is shy. Well, 2018, I'm, I'm going to be in front of the camera. That's what's up, y'all. So, y'all, it's recorded. Y'all are hearing this. He said that starting 2018, he is going to vlog more. So, whoop, yep. whoop. Gonna We're going to get him a camera, y'all, so that he can vlog and I can vlog. So, new content coming out, y'all. I have some amazing ideas. I even recently purchased a new um, planner that says stay focused, y'all. And in this year, I'm staying focused. I have new content coming from you all. So, make sure that y'all subscribe. Hit the red subscribe button, guys, because I have new videos coming out, amazing ideas coming out. And I just want to wish all of you a happy new year um hope that you have a blessed and prosperous amazing 2018 and just be blessed and if y'all went out tonight or anything like that y'all be safe okay love you all and have a happy and amazing new year bye guys happy new year